Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The Flyers will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Pumps it away in his own end. LA's got a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Kopitar. Comes up with the stop. Elliott's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Quick feed to Ristolainen. Gain momentum up along the side. Gavrikov's got control of it now behind the cage. Moves it to Ristolainen. LA's got a hold of it along the wall. And they continue to apply pressure here. Quick pass to Konechny. Cuts to the front. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Here's a short pass to Kopitar. Good hit to knock the puck loose. And he slides it quickly to Byfield. Skates across the blue line. The Kings gain possession along the wall. LA's got the puck in their own end. From center, they get into the attacking area. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Well, he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. Gets in front of it. Goalie keeps the play alive. Los Angeles looks to break out in their own end. The Kings played along the boards. And that's a smart heads up play by Cates. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Pumped off the puck. Fialo's got it in the defensive end. Break away. Oh, and I think he got confused what he was going to do there. You can see him looking at the goaltender, whether he's going to shoot or deke. And while he's thinking, he's running out of real estate. Quick pass to Deneau. Philadelphia is playing it through center. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. And they win the offensive zone face off. And here we go. Denies him on the slapper. Take it along the wall by Tippett. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Orbison's got it into offensive territory. To his teammate. Great read to break up the play. Now a quick pass to Walker. He carries the puck up along the wing. Great poke check on the reach. LA's got it in their own zone. Picks it up and they turn on the pressure. Great stop by Copley. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Puck grab by Kalia. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Still looking for our first goal. Forster's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Philadelphia's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. That eyes him on the play. Grunstrom's taking it from his own end. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. Here's a shot. Too much traffic in the lane. LA's looking to break out. Here they come inside the neutral zone. And he's got that one. Grunstrom's got control of the puck in the corner. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Pokes the puck away. And now it's grabbed by Grunstrom. Denies him with the save. Passes it to Couturier. The Kings gain control of the puck against the wall. And turns aside the slapper with ease. Couturier is an important piece of this club. They'll be looking for him to produce. Kopitar is known to bring the offense for his team. Be on the lookout for one of these players to make an impact for their team tonight. Now, One-on-one -on -one battle, and the goaltender is so dialed in, 
said down the ice, we'll get an icing. Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. The Flyers win it. Center wins that one clean. Everyone's ready for the puck. They know they're attacking now with a tired group that they're playing against. Here they come on the attack. And he comes up with it. Poked away in the offensive zone by Kopitar. And it's a quick pass to Couturier. Shot. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Scooped up along the wall by Konechny. Oh, he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Late goings of this period. The game is still scoreless. Frost won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Here he is, wrists on that, turns it away. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Cutting to the front of the net, shuts it down with the paddle, what a stop. Philadelphia's got the puck in the defensive end. Musa quickly over to Frost. Chance in front of the net! Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. And he's ridden off the puck. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. moving the puck through his own zone. Takes it at center. Fire the puck! And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. There's the horn for period number one as it comes to an end. We've got lots more action. Two more thirds of this one to go. Stay with us. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Still no goals in this one. We'll see if that changes here as period number two is underway. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Flyers have run into a hot goaltender, James, but they can't get discouraged or frustrated. Just continue to do what they're doing. They have a majority of shots on net. They are holding possession. They just have to find a win to beat the tender once, and you know that they'll cash in for more. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on the stick. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Comes up at the stop. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Sandheim's gonna serve two for holding on this play. right away to make the save. Looking to set up offensively. The Kings have it from their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Knocks the puck loose. Philadelphia's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Taken by Arvidsson. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Forster's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Time 
The Flyers will play it in their own end. Moves it to Walker. Moves the puck. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Couturier is close to finding a hole there and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had in the play dies. Kopitar's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Sandheim's penalty is almost expired. Here's a shot! Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. All those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. And that plays offside. We got a face-off coming up. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Philadelphia has won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. LA's looking to break out of their own end. And now he moves it to Kopitar. Up and rush! Takes a shot! Oh, tremendous save to shut down the rush there! Wow! Play blown dead, let's get the call. Running interference plays as part of the game, but you can't impede the forward progress of your opponent. That's a two minutes interference call. as we know, is ranked toward the bottom of the league. But that's not for us to remind them of. That's the coach's job. They've got a huge opportunity here. We know they've been working hard. Let's see if they can put that work to the test. And that shot dies in traffic. Picked up along the wall by Frost. And that's a great heads up play by Denard. Drills them. Anderson's got it along the boards. And gets it in deep in the opposite corner. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Too high! Well, this shot is really hard, James, but a nice reminder that if it isn't accurate, it doesn't stand a chance. The Flyers will play it from the defensive zone. To the low slot! It's good! Right with the man advantage, and they make it click. with the goaltender and a perfect fake right there and the ability to move it to the forehand and bring it home. The Flyers finally improved their shooting percentage with that goal here in the second. And you can see how happy they are. The body language says it all. After so many misses and opportunities earlier in the game, they finally get rewarded and that's got to give them some jump to their step. Quick pass to Cates. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. Still lots of time left in the period. Philadelphia's up one zip. The Flyers win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that carries off a body in traffic. A chance in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Philadelphia's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. The Flyers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Oh, what a block! He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off. He's speaking it off. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Los Angeles has the puck in the corner. The Flyers get a hold of the puck along the boards. LA's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Clay with some dead penalty coming up. Well, he's gonna get the slashing call here, James, and it's a stick infraction. What that means is you're in a vulnerable spot. Why? Your opponent has gained position on you. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Grabbed along the board by Frost. Drives to the sweet spot. His reflexes 
is on display tonight. Fiala's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Flyers take possession here inside the offensive zone. Here's a shot. And he meets that one square on to stop it. Couturier's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Philadelphia's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Roy. Slides the puck down low. Can't get a hold of that pass. Grabs control of it at the point. Moves it quickly. And sends it just out of reach. Feeds the puck to Atkinson. Textbook poke check by Gavrikov. The Kings played along the wing. Philadelphia's got the puck. And it takes a shot. Too much congestion in front. Sacrifices the body to block that in front. Gives them nothing in front. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes a save. Quick pass across to Tippett. The Flyers fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Well, when you get the nod to hit, hit the ice on a power play, you want to execute at least 20% of the time. And all these players are heading back to the bench and they're deflated. Lazat's got it along the wing. And that's intercepted by Frost. The Flyers are in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all those interceptions where they've been in great spots. And they strike Pater once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. They've got to find a way to continue with the pressure, be relentless, and try and get another one. Oh, when you see one go in like this, it is extremely deflating. You work so hard in the game of hockey, and then this one goes in awful. Below the goal on tight angle. This one's got to be saved. The Flyers have extended the lead to two goals here in the second, and at this rate, Cheryl, I don't think they're stopping. Well, no, because, I mean, they've been good in all three zones, haven't they? I mean, you're watching their goaltender just put on a clinic, and then their offense gets to work. They're dominating in terms of shots, and they're finding a way to put it in the back of the net. Hard to get the puck off their stick. Slides the puck across to the Northwood. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Puck picked up by Ristolainen. Farabee stick handling in his own zone. Los Angeles has possession of the puck. Slides it diagonally to Fiala. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Big time stop. Copley's save percentage has been excellent, and he's doing everything to stand tall in the crease. Now it's time for his team to start playing for him. They got to get going north, but the first thing they need to do is retrieve the puck and stop chasing the game. Forster swooping in on the attack. Grabbed in the open ice by Delorier. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Redirected! And somehow, someway, he comes up with a stop with his glove. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. In the final moments of this period, Philadelphia's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. Can't keep a hold of it. Takes the feed from the left side. Puts it on net. Denies him. He got all of it. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Philadelphia's coaching staff must be impressed with what they're seeing from their players tonight. Lots of pucks on net, and they continue to lead late in the second. Puck scooped up by Walker. And now he moves it quickly to Atkinson. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Cates. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. Cates is all skilled. You know that back in the day, he's been working on it collectively, and it shows in his game. But right here, he just gets caught up in a tight space and loses the puck. 
receives the pass. The Flyers play it along the boards. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. Handles the puck. Line chain. Moves the pass in front. And that turns off a twig in front of the net. The Flyers have it now. Swing and a miss. Quick shot. There's the buzzer. Two periods down. One more to go. They always say three is the magic number. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Los Angeles is getting bullied here, James, and you know the coach is telling them, listen, just stick with the game plan. Everything is going well in the offensive zone. You have a majority of the puck possession there. You find ways to get the puck through to the net. Just take away the eyes, look to drive the paint, get to the interior, and make it happen. The Flyers take possession off the faceoff. Pays it up from the back end! LA's moving the puck through center ice. And he takes the feed. Oh, stick save and a few. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Here they come on the attack. Konechny's got it along the boards. Centering feed!
there with the chest. Kempe's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Philadelphia's won the faceoff. Here's a chance. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Copley. Nice job to escape the zone. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. The Flyers have layered well today and really protected their goaltender. He's seen everything. They're so close to the shutout. Yes, it's a superstition, but this team has played so well defensively. It's not just a goaltender stat, it's a team stat. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if they'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of balls. play. Nice zone entry on the left side. Oh, big time hit along the wall, and this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. York's really laboring as he leaves the game, James. He's going to make his way down the tunnel with some assistance from the medical staff here because he cannot put any weight on that one leg. Big part of this team, and obviously they are going to have to do without him for the next indefinite period until we get a medical update here. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. The Panthers are up next according to the league's schedule makers and no love lost between these two sides. Tickets still available, should be a good one. Philadelphia's got it and they're on the attack. Blocked in front. Oh, he got all of that, what a save by Copley. LA's got the puck along the wall. Sends it in front, puts it on the post. Denies that opportunity. Ristolainen's lugging the puck. Quick pass to Sandheim. With possession along the wall. Here's a chance! And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Deneau's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Philadelphia's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, what a stop with the paddle! There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Couturier set the face-off dot, ready to win this draw the man advantage. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denied that one. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable league and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looked comfortable. Takes a shot. Just a simple save by Copley. Los Angeles moves ahead with the puck. Here he is on the backhand. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. You see these holding calls all the time. It's a product of not moving your feet and just getting caught flat-footed. You've got to make sure you keep those feet moving, and you cannot reach with one hand. LA's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power of play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. And they win the draw on their own end. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck. And they manage to clear it. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Into the attacking area from the left side. And that pass goes off a stick. Deep inside the defensive end, still trying to clear. 
And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Moves the puck across to Kempe. A chance in front. Shot. Blocked in traffic. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Forster side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Off the draw, they take possession. Los Angeles takes hold of the puck. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. Through center. Handles the pass. Handles that one. Forster's moving it ahead. Los Angeles gets a hold of it. Couturier is up and ready to get back on the ice. Philadelphia's man is out of the box and we're back to even strength. Well, that power play needs to have more urgency. All perimeter movement. Someone has to pay the price and get to the most coveted spot on the ice, and that is right in front of the tender. Here's a short pass to Deneau. Puck exits the zone. Los Angeles looks to break out in their own end. Tries to get it over to Dubois. And he puts that one aside with ease. Elliott's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Time winding down in this one while we have a chance to score part on base. Danny Wyrieson. Katoria has been great at generating offense, and I've been impressed with his game in this one, guys. Moves it quickly over to Stahl. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. And less than a minute to go finally in this one. And there's the whistle icing the call. York's not going to be able to return to the game, James. I mean, that injury that he suffered earlier is going to keep him out. This is a tough loss for their team. No, and you clearly kind of know where you stand from a coaching standpoint now, but that is a serious blow to the lineup here for the rest of the game. The Kings gain possession along the wall. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Pass across to Kavrikov. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Walker's got it in the defensive end. And that's stolen by Moore. The cherry on the top between the pipes. He picks up his first shutout of the season in that W. He doesn't get any better than that. The shutout. And look at that. Everyone's giving him stick taps and fist pumps. Some block shots at the end of the game. You know how badly the defenders wanted it for him as well. Thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time. Hope you did too. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night. <laughs>